Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this basic critique. I said it looked good to me. I do personally a couple things differently. Like I don't like that right there. And I do not like the, the dash lines between the date. I think it would look better just to leave it like this. So I changed your page size to 20 inches because you're or 24. So we're going to start with P and we're going to make this with a ratio lock. We're going to make a 20 inch line. I'm going to go ahead and hit control D and I'm going to make a 19 inch line. Got to hit P now they're equal. Now I'm going to set my nudge factor on like 25 inches and I'm going to get rid of that outside line. Don't need it right now. I want to work on the inside line. So I'm going to take the cotch first. I'm going to go to text, text the path, and I'm going to put it right there. Now I need to look at it because I, I need it to be touching. But if so we go back to text the path, we can actually raise it up and move it left or right. So I'm going to raise it up just a hair so it's touching those lines. I can actually left click, right click, and we can kind of see it. That's what you want to have. And in this, this font is probably a little bit more difficult than some, but I think it'll look good. Now, working um, on bottom text the path is so much harder. Doesn't ever look as good. And you can see we get that red line. I'm going to say stop. I'm going to mirror it upside down. I'm going to mirror it left to right. I do not like, you know, that's text path on the bottom just doesn't look good. I think our number's going to work. But what you can actually do is take your shape tool. And one, you can do this. It'll separate all the letters, maybe a little bit. And then that's when you want to figure out, you know, where you want it, how big you want this. Um, so I'm going to shrink it back kind of where it was. Because we can... And we've already spread out those letters enough, probably. But a lot of people don't realize you could take your shape tool, grab just that one E, and move it up your path. See, so it'll stay on that path. So we're just going to move it just a little bit. We're going to make the S and just move it up. Maybe the T and maybe leave it where it was. Maybe take the, the period and put it there. Now, the only thing we've altered is now it's across the top. So I'm going to take an indexing line. And I'm going to grab the whole thing and I'm going to rotate it. Well, well, you know what? We're still under text the path. Uh, I'm going to go this. See, I'm just moving the, I'm trying to get the 24 kind of equal with the E. Then you, I could have maybe done that at first. And then you could move your S around a little bit more. It's, it's personal preference how you think it looks. Um, and I think that looks pretty good because we haven't changed anything. Now I'm going to left click, right click. And a lot of times you have to figure out which way to weld this. So we're going to go up to object and break the 13 objects apart. Grab them again and the weld tool comes up. But it didn't work. I almost guarantee it's going to be front minus back, and it worked. There's our item. Now, if we take our circle and nudge it back over, and then this is where you can really look to see what it's gonna look like. And I think it looks pretty good. So let's back up here. I, do, I still don't want that circle there. Now I'm gonna create a circle for the inside. I'm just gonna take the ellipse tool holding down the control button, and this is why I work in the center of the page. Now we haven't really raised or lowered those letters, so it should work holding down the shift key and grab one of the corners. But you don't want, you want the two-sided arrow, but hold down the, the shift key and see where the numbers are a little bit off uh, compared to the letters. So maybe I should have upped them up to a bigger font. Let's just do that real quick. I hadn't thought about that. Uh, the numbers could be a little bit. So I'm going to back up before we did any text to path. Quite a few steps, but it will be here in a second. Okay. Now we've got it where we want it. And let's look at the numbers. Are the numbers not as tall as the letters? 
and they're not. They're pretty close to the bottom, but they're not as tall. So let's try this. Let's try to take the, the text tool, grab our text, don't do that, grab the text and just highlight this number and let's make it 275. See, I made the numbers bigger without making the letters bigger. Uh, let's go to 85. There we go. Now I made them bigger top to bottom. I'm almost glad I made to decide to make this video because I've never had really run into that. So we're right on the top. We'll bring in another indexing line. I think we're good to go. So we haven't really altered anything. I'm going to turn off the indexing line. I'm going to go up to text, text the path, put on the path, see the red line. I'm going to mirror it left, mirror it right, mirror it upside down. So now it should work better. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to take uh, the shape tool and just move that E out a little bit. Move the S out a little bit. And then I'm going to get it back. I'm going to bring in our indexing lines. See, our 24 needs, needs to be right there. So I'm still under this mode. So I can, woo, what did I do? I don't know what that's, never had that happen. You know, it may be because I did something to the tech. So, but we could, okay, let's just go up here, go to range and break it apart. Now this isn't a text of path anymore. But if we grab our text and we put the rotation in the center of the page, we can rotate the text without really changing it and try to get it kind of even. I think that looks pretty good. Now let's left click, right click, and let's bring in a, a line holding down the control button and hit P. Grab the corner with the two-sided arrow and hold down the shift key. And you can see now that our, our letters and numbers are touching. I think we're good to go. Now, a lot of times when you do things like this, um, where you're going to mess up when you weld it, Matter of fact, I must have unwelded that. So now let's try this. Nope, nothing changed. See, a lot of times, let's tell you what we'll do. We'll do it what we should have done. Let's move this out of the way, and let's do what we did first. Okay, there's what we got. That's what we want. Now here's the center. I hit the down arrow key. I'm just going to hit P because I don't know where it went. Now, a lot of times this isn't going to work, and it didn't work. Um, we can try the same thing. Didn't work. See, now it's going to be the opposite. There we go. So now we need to make, we need to put this back. And if that's a 20-inch circle, and this is a 19-inch circle, so this circle is a, let me tell you what, let me move that out of the way. Well, we're, you know what? We're just going to have to measure it. Try to measure right across the middle uh, with the parallel dimension tool and just go kind of get the middle to middle. So we have a 17, a 14.17 inch circle. So we need a uh, another ellipse and we're going to make it, let's see what the number was, 14.17. So we need a 13.17. So we're just going to go right here and make it 13, 13.17. And then I'm going to hit P. And that's going to be the same thickness as our two lines. Now, if we put in, I always test it. See what it looks like. That looks pretty good. See, we, I still got that part I didn't like, uh, but there's really, it's less and you can't really do anything about it. If you did more, it might not look like a T. So now what we can do, and this is probably the easiest part, is we've got this inner circle. I'm going to move it down. I'm going to move the, everything else to the left. I'm going to hit P, put it back in the center. Now, the customer does not like the K. That's personal preference. This K looks cool, but it's two parts. 
So how can you make it look like this? Well, you can take any font and, mul and manipulate it. So let's zoom in here and take this letter, left click, right click, and you see they're not touching. Well, we can make them touch by taking it. Okay, I need to convert it to a curve. Whenever your shape tool doesn't work, it's because it's a curve. You just move this over. And then you could do a lot with this. Now, before you do anything else, take the Smart Fill tool and fill it in. And what the Smart Fill do, tool did was made it all one solid piece. And then you could make it whatever, a left click, right click. You could take away nodes. You could use the, um, you know, like I'm going to take away that node. I'm going to take away that node. But then I'm going to get the shape, the smoothing tool, and I'm going to just kind of smooth this out a little bit. To, I mean, and just make it look like your K, you know, whatever you want it to look like. I'm going to call that good. Now let's hit P, put it in the center of the page. You can tell we're real little. Holding down the control. So this is our inner circle. So we need to go past there on all four directions. We're not going to, it's because it's a K, it doesn't really have, so we're going to just manually move it. And then we could stretch it. And you just want just a minute little mount, everything touching. Hold down the shift, which will make it grow from the center. I need the two-sided cross. And I think that looks pretty good. You know, okay, we've got our nudge factor set on 25, if we remember that. Change your nudge factor to 0 0.01 and just kind of move the K around a little bit. Then I guarantee you can take this and weld it or back minus front. And that's what we want. Now, okay, remember we nudged? So we need to put it back to, well, we can just hit P and put this in the center of the page. That's why I love, I love working in the center of the page. And for the one I'm trying to help, pick them. I mean, there's DA fonts has thousands of fonts. And you can actually type in the letter K, capital K, and it'll show you what that K is going to look like. And, and, and I have plenty, if you want to search a video on DA font, now that we've smart filled it, move it out of the way. If you're going to cut it out, left click, right click, and there's your cutout version. I think it looks better than that, but I'm a little bit prejudiced here. I know the K does. The K takes up more of the room and is actually going to be stronger. It's got four points hitting instead of just two. I, do, I think the date looks equally as well. And, you, you know, I, I could have put periods between them. Now, what I would do if I was going to cut this out, I would delete those little bitty lines. They're so minute, they don't need to be there. They're just what I just barely had happen or barely didn't quite have it. You know, you could, I would leave that for make it look good. And if we look at these two side by side, we'll make them both black. I would be much happier with that that one right there. Let me take away the, the outline. So it's just black against black. I think the date's just as readable. You know, it doesn't need that. Now we're a little bit further up the scale. So I could have used a smaller font on both of them. Matter of fact, that's what I, I just noticed I did. Uh, her cotch is quite a bit little. I will actually send you this file and you could feel free to show the customer um, and actually use it if you like. Sorry the video was so long. I hope that helped. Thank you for watching.